All right, everybody. I wanted to show you this uh, little camp stove that I got. Um, I found it actually on Amazon. I uh, forget who makes it, but anyway, it folds up small, right? And uh, I thought this would be really ideal. It's kind of neat. It's the only one I've seen like this. The way that it unfolds is it kind of makes a uh, stand like this. Let me put it together real quick. Can't do that with the camera. Okay, it'll look like this. And it has a door at the end. And you put your um, tender and whatever in there. So what I'm going to do, I've never I haven't tried this thing out yet. I'm going to build me a little fire in there. Um, and I'm going to try and boil two cups of water. And we'll see how it works. Uh, but it's real neat. It folds up real small. Has a little, uh, um, little, little pack here for it that it fits into. Right? It weighs, I don't know, maybe a pound and folds up to about, I don't know, five inches wide, six inches long, and about an inch thick. So, kind of neat. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this lit up here now. And uh, I'm using what you see down here is some of the stuff in, from the around the stem of a palmetto bush. Very, very flammable. It's like hair almost. And then some old uh, dried out palmetto leaf. And then I'm going to use some of this, these sticks in here. Um, it rained real hard yesterday, so um, it hasn't rained today. So let's see how dried out it is and see how well it works. Uh, okay. back I went ahead and put a few twigs in there. Definitely my uh, tender is already, uh, you know, the, uh, I forget what it's called, but the hairy stuff off of a palmetto bush. Um, and a few sticks in there. I'm going to grab a few more sticks and feed them in. Um, but I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use a lighter. <laughs> Cause I just don't feel like messing with it that much. This is a test of the stove, not my fire making abilities. Set. Okay. <clears throat> Half a gallon of, uh, gasoline later. No, I'm kidding. I just didn't want to waste your time sitting there while I'm getting the fire going. Um, uh, worked out really well. Wood is just slightly wet, so it took a little bit to get it going. But anyway, <clears throat> now I'm going to see how long it takes to, to boil this water. Obviously, it shouldn't take an incredible amount of time. And uh, I just thought it just a really neat little camp uh, fire. You can see the, the door here. You can open it like this. You can close it. And put it all the way up if you want to and play with the fire <laughs> not recommended that you play with fire right but <clears throat> that way you can feed the feed it Doo -doo -doo -doo. like so And we'll let that all catch on fire, but in the meantime, I gotta make sure that that'll even fit on there. Okay, it'll sit on there just barely. That should be two cups of cold water. Uh, it came right out of the the faucet. And um, let's see how long it takes to boil. I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch a pot boil, but anyway, I'll be back with you in just a few minutes. And we're a few minutes into it. <clears throat> the the wet uh, the wood is pretty wet. Um, kind of had to be playing with it. It's been about six minutes at this point, and we're starting to get some warm water anyway. Little bubbles forming on the bottom of the cup, and we'll see how hot it really is. Yeah, it's getting there. Not quite hot enough to wash dishes in yet. <laughs> um, but we're six minutes into it, and with wet wood, and I like the way it channels the heat and the flames up, kind of like. Um, Oh, I forget what it's called, that rocket stove, the Swedish rocket stove or whatever. Um, Yankee Prepper did a video on that one. Um, I like the way it channels it up. It has vents underneath, um, of course the side door, and uh, and it folds down real small. The paint is bubbling up off of it, and I expected that to happen. 
so uh, I would assume I'm gonna have to go get some like barbecue paint or something um, in order to keep it from just rusting away but uh, anyway uh, I'll be back in just a couple minutes I'm assuming you can see this see the bubbles in the water there we're getting close let's see if I can tilt this over a little bit Not bad, not bad. At any rate, slowly but surely, not bad, not bad with dealing with wet tender. I've had to kind of stoke it a couple of times, but you know, if I was really going to do this, I'd put a few scrapes of that wet fire in there and let it burn for a little bit dry it all out and I just keep stuffing more stuff in there drying it out but I don't really want to burn a ton of stuff in this thing I want to see if I can get the water to boil and then put it out so <laughs> um, anyway all right back in a minute oh we're at uh, let's see about uh, 14 minutes right now but that like I said I'm again you can see the fire is about to die out again dealing with wet sticks so the heat has not been constant. I believe it would have boiled by now had it been constant. So, and that's that. All right, well, we're 20 minutes into it, and even though I had a lot of wet tender and troubles with the, the flame trying to die down on me, and, uh, you know, I just didn't uh, plan this out right. I thought it, it felt drier than that. Um, but that's why they say test your stuff, right? So 20 minutes later, I've got boiling hot water. Um, I can now heat up my mountain house uh, um, dehydrated food or whatever, right? Make some coffee, make some tea. There's two cups there, and um, it looks pretty good. So 20 minutes probably would have taken more like 10 or 12, uh, but I lost my fire at about 8 or 9 minutes and had to restoke it, and that slowed it down dramatically. But you can see we're off to a rolling boil there now. <laughs> so I like it. The stove works really well. Um, it's been a long time. I've never tried to build one inside of something like this, but uh, anyway, I thought I did a pretty good job. <laughs> like I said, a little of that wet fire uh, would have been great with uh, with damp uh, tender, and a um, couple of lessons learned. Um, should have put a little more pine in there to begin with. With some, uh, there's pine and oak there, um, with some oak sitting on top of it to dry it out, so that when it took off, then I could just keep feeding it. Um, um, you know, you need to dry out your tender a little bit, so a way to do that is to leave it kind of half in the fire, and it'll start, as soon as it, as soon as it dries out, it'll light up. But, uh, anyway, it works pretty doggone good. I'm pretty happy with it, and, uh, now I just need to let it die out, and I'll, uh, knock the ashes out of it, clean it up, and, um, figure out what I'm going to do about the singed paint. Probably nothing. <laughs> anyway, 12 bucks or something like that, I found it on Amazon. It's a little camp stove, little solid fuel camp stove, I think is what they call it. You could even put a sterno canister in there, um, anything you want. It's You can put a, a pot or a pan on top of it, a small one, you know, and uh, go from there. You can see already the fire's died out again. Uh, if I kept stoking it, obviously we'd have, you know, hot stuff going on. So, anyway, and they got to clean that up too. <laughs> So I feel like I field tested my stuff here, and uh, maybe you guys learned something too. I know I certainly did. Um, I could do a lot better job of keeping that fire going. And uh, I may actually drill a couple more holes on the sides of that thing um, at the one end. But uh, maybe not. It works pretty good as is. Uh, it just needs a little bit of attention. So that's it. Neo Prepper out. Hope you enjoyed it.